Welcome back to Cast 529, everyone. I'm Brian. And I'm Shauna. And tonight, it's Wednesday, and we are back again with What's in Your Glen Wednesday. Awesome. Give us one minute, guys, and we'll be right back. Welcome back, everybody. Big night. Big night. You get to pick a sample. I'm ready. Were you shaking? <laughs> All right, which one you got? I've got number six. Number six. You want to go ahead and pour a seed a half ounce there? Get out your shoulder pack. He's so much better at this than me. Like last time, last week when I did it, like one glass had a lot in it. Look at him. He's getting it pretty well even there. Good job. Thank you. All right. Let's see if we can determine if this is a bourbon whiskey rye. Before we finished. go too far, yeah. let's go ahead and remind the viewers. Guys, hit that like button, comment button. And subscribe. And subscribe. If you haven't already. Okay. So we've got another sample yes. from... Wilson Rope, our friends over at Wilson Rope. Yes. And um, no idea, guys. It's what's in the glass, what's in the glen Wednesday. <laughs> Brian's been out in the sun all day, bourbon honey. No luck, no luck. But um, Ohio had a drawing today um, at a couple different locations. It's a crazy, it's a crazy raffle. It's, uh, it's three days. It was yesterday, today, and tomorrow. Two locations each day. Um, two thirds of the bottles that they were raffling, Sean and I. No, thank you. Uh, so they had Blanton's Gold, which is what we would actually have been taking if we could. And then they had Double Eagle Very Rare, which is up to $3,000 now. And then also they had um, the new. Daniel Weller Millennium Bottle, which is the low, low price is $7,500. They had at each location no less than 15 of each of those bottles, um, and everything got sold. So crazy. Crazy. One crazy. couple I saw as I was leaving, uh, he had won a bottle of, well, not, he didn't win, he won the opportunity to buy a bottle of Double Eagle Very Rare in the first group of people they called and at the tail end of it his wife got a bottle of Weller Millennium so those folks spent with tax well over 11 grand today Yikes! on two bottles crazy yikes so if Brian was getting anything he was allowed to get the Bland's Gold <laughs> and that was maybe <laughs> no all right, this one has a really nice nose. Um, it's good. pretty viscous too, looks like. It has a lot of rye elements to me. I, I'm getting a lot of spice on the nose. Not saying it is a rye, but a lot of spice on the nose. I, <laughs> this, this is going to be really, really crazy. I yeah. get like I'm standing on a beach. On the beach? I get that cool... Yeah, I, I'm... I don't get standing on the beach, but that's how, what you're relating to. But yeah. there is a cool, yeah. Yep, ready to taste it? Yeah, I think it's going to have a little bite to it. Sweetness when it first hits the palate. A lot of caramel and char, and it's finishing with a lot of char and spice. Char definitely there's heavy a, on the char. A lot of char there. Yeah, that's a that's a medium to heavy char, I would say for sure. Um, a lot of spice. I don't. I didn't get a lot of sweet at all out of it. The sweetness was only when it first hit my palate. I, I missed it. I'll try to keep. We also want to remind everybody this coming Friday night at 8 p.m. Uh, another live. We'll have Andy on the show with me. Uh, I believe Mike will be here. We'll be doing cocktails. So Andy's got a lot of ideas for cocktails we're going to do. 
if you're into that kind of thing, it'd be a great opportunity to ask questions. Again, I am going to say this is definitely a higher rye mash bill. I'm getting a lot of the spice from it. Um, very good. I'm getting some sweetness. I'm getting some caramel. The spice just finishes. I don't know if it's too proofy. Um, take another. It's really hard to say, I think, because of the, the spice. spice. Yeah. And, uh, I'm going to guess that it's not super proofy. I'm going to say it's maybe. 100 to 105 is where I'm going to put it on the proof. I think the spice is, is trying to draw us into thinking it's a lot proofier than that. Mm -hmm. I did get a little bit, you said you got sweetness right on the start of the palate. I did get that on the second sip. I can't put a flavor with the sweetness because it was so quick that... Right. I am definitely saying that this is a rye. That's my guess. I think you're. I think that's an accurate. You're going to guess right yeah, as I'm well. I'm going to say right as well. Um, I'm with you, and I really don't think it's very proofy. Um, I. I'm going to say maybe 95. Okay. It finishes a little warm, but I think it's just the rye, the spice to it. So I'm going to guess 95. Um, any guesses on what the the who's who's making this delightful pork? I no, I it don't. is a really good pork. <laughs> it I, is really it's good. good. Yeah, it it's, is good. I could definitely drink it. Um, I wouldn't say it's my all-time favorite. No. Um, but it's but it's a good pork. Definitely drink it in the glass. Yeah, definitely. It's. It wouldn't even have to be Wednesday. No. Wouldn't. So no guesses on. I, I've got I've got nothing. I feel like I should just throw something out there, but honestly, I don't. I don't have a guess either. So we'll leave that as it is. Ready to see what it is? I am. It's, it is really good. There's just it's warm. <laughs> so two weeks in a row. Another holiday. <laughs> this one is the Ben Holiday Soft Red Wheat. Bottled, bottled and, bond. and bond. I said 100 to 105. Yep, so you got the 100. So we were both wrong. Yeah, we missed this. It's we missed not a rye. It's not a rye. It's a bottled and bond, and I would um, say it has wheat. So the wheat's probably adding the sweetness for that. It's right at that the beginning. Touch of sweetness. Um, yeah. I don't know what the mash bill would be on this, but um, definitely, I would say it's, it's definitely has to have some rye in it with all that baking spice and stuff. It's got, it's got to. Um, so that's pre pretty, so last week, just because I have the card still right over here, last Wednesday we had the Ben Holiday Missouri Straight Bourbon Bib 100 proof, and this one is the Ben Holiday Soft Red Wheat um, Bottled and Bond. So, pretty cool. It, it is. Um, as I re recall last week's, I would probably personally, on a personal note, I would probably take last week's over this week's. I agree with you. I, I remember last week's. This one was really good. Yeah. I'd be happy to drink it. I remember last week's being um, a better, like, yeah, even it, better though. Yeah. Yeah. So, that's what we have tonight. That's another great uh, What's in the Glen Wednesday. Yep. Mike, thank you for sharing this with us. Absolutely, Mike. We couldn't do this without your help on it. Nope. Thank you. Um, I think that's all we have for this yes. evening. So again, if you would, take that opportunity to hit that like button if you haven't already. Leave us a comment if you've had the Ben Holiday Soft Red Wheat Bottled and Bond. What do you think of it? And we'll see you next time. Thanks for joining us, everybody.